Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Haltech Q&A, where no question is left unanswered. Our first question today comes from MyGDR34. What's the difference between your Pro plug-in ECUs and an Elite with a plug-and-play adapter? Is there any advantage in going to the Elite Plus adapter if it's just a streetcar? Well, yes, the main difference when going to the Elite Series over a Pro plug-in are the long-term strategies for fueling, boost control and idle control. These long-term strategies allow the ECU to make adjustments to the tune every time you drive the car. So every time you drive it, it's going to get better. The long-term strategies can be used on a street car or a race car. Our next question today comes from Wound King. What is the ECU that you would recommend for a B18C? That's a Honda four-cylinder engine. It's a street weekend racer. Wound, the Elite 550 series ECU is the perfect unit for your B series engine. It's compatible with the factory distributor, ignition system and sensors, or you could choose to do a four coil conversion on the car. You could also choose to do a high compression engine, supercharged or turbocharged. All you need to do is set up the ECU and away you go. And our last question today comes from Rusty S. What ECU would suit a 2JZ VVTi that is capable of controlling the stock drive-by-wire system? Rusty, this is a really good question and the answer is none to my knowledge. The 2JZ VVTi throttle body is actually half electric and half mechanical. So it moves about half to three quarters of the way electrically. The rest of the way is actually pulled with the cable. Uh, I'm not quite sure why Toyota have done this. They did it for a little while, then they went away from it. Uh, the problem with this is that no aftermarket engine management systems can be wired to this because we're looking for a full movement of that throttle blade electrically. If there's a cable also pulling on that blade, it messes up all of our error checking and we don't know where the throttle blade actually is or if it's stuck. So the best way to go about this, there's plenty of conversion kits for the 2JZ throttle body. All it does is change it to a full cable style system. It gets rid of the electric component of it. You can then use it just like a normal cable system and away you go, you're ready to fit something like our Elite 2000 series ECU that'll do the sequential injection, direct fire ignition, and the variable cam control, as well as boost control, idle, any of that sort of stuff, and you're ready to tune it. Well, that's all our questions today. If you've got a question you want answered, please send it in to us. We'll get onto it next week. My name's Scott, and I'll see you next time.